So, what we have here is an Arduino set up to do some simple data logging and to record that data via SPI to a secure digital SD, actually a micro SD card stuck inside of an adapter. Let's go ahead and plug in that card. We are not tethered to the PC right now. We're set up for battery power. We'll hook up the battery in just a few seconds here. Let me just point out first we have a resistive force sensor here which is simply in series with a 100k ohm resistor. It is sending a voltage that's proportional to force to an analog input on the Arduino. Also we have an XY joystick over here that we'll be using for testing. So again we'll log data. We'll be logging in from the force sensor, the joystick, through the Arduino and then storing it on the SD card and we'll analyze that data on the PC. Let's go ahead and connect the battery now and start logging data. Okay. The Arduino should be running, should be logging data. Let's go ahead and give it some force information. Squeezing harder, 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 probably maxed out by now. Go ahead and release. It should have logged that information. Let's go ahead and move the joystick. 1000, 1000, 2, 1000, 3, 1000, 4, 1000, 5. We'll move it slowly in the other direction. And now in the orthogonal direction from that. and then back again and then we return to center next we remove the battery from the Arduino kill power and we unplug the SD card and then we plug it into any reader in this case we have a reader built into this netbook PC so we will read the information on that memory card and we will then post process it in Excel we did next was took the file data from the data logger memory card and we brought it into this Excel spreadsheet and it was post-processed. That is, we did some scaling here to change the uh, raw data. That was a scale 0 to 1023. Scaled that to represent seconds, percent of joystick position, and weight in kilograms. We took the force sensor's force and converted that to weight, assuming we're weighing kilograms. Next, we plotted that on a chart, a double axis, a double y axis chart. We see on the left the y axis is joystick position percent, and that is, looking at the legend here, the blue and the red ones. So here was when I moved the joystick at approximately the 15, 14 second position, went all the way to 100%, actually a little past that, a little error there, and then down a little bit past 0%, and then back to 0. Meanwhile, the red axis, that was the X position, came down past zero, and then up to peak, and then down again. And then the weight in kilograms that was measured on the force sensor, we're looking at, again, the, the right-hand axis, weight in kilograms, went from zero up to 20 kilograms, down to zero again. And that stayed pretty steady there. And again, this was versus time. Force and joystick XY position versus time, data logged every second. So there we have it.